California. I'm in this empty parking, uh, trying to find a place to uh, just to make a recount of what just happened 20 or 22 hours ago. Well, first of all, two hours flight from Taipei to Manila. Then in Manila, I had to wait for the whole day, basically eight hours uh, on a Friday, fr Friday 1st of July. And then the same 1st of July, I arrived in Los Angeles two hours before. So uh, it's been a long journey back to, I would say, what? The American continent. Um, yeah, so then there were some other small annoyances. For example, the terminal is uh, painfully small. Uh, so many people, very little food options and places to just stay and be comfortable. The internet is very slow. Um, and then the airline made us do a pre-safety check-in before taking a flight. Although I guess that's uh, something good when you come to the US because you don't have to do that. Uh, something pretty smart, I would say, from the US government. So that was very quick, all the customs and yeah, so far, um, I would say it's okay. It's sunny as usual in California, no rain, no threats of bad weather like in Taipei. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just staying here for one day and then this evening I take my flight back to El Salvador finally. So, so far uh, it's been a day of uh, just sightseeing a little bit, buying some clothes and enjoying this lovely weather and just resting, trying to regain some strength and take another five to six hour flight back home. So yeah, that's it. Last but not least, 
I guess it's time to address the elephant in the room. Usually airlines, especially for long haul flights, they allow you to take around seven kilos of luggage for your carry on. I was carrying 12 kilos of luggage related to electronics and everything related to batteries. I had no problems whatsoever, either from going out from Taiwan, uh, going through the US, entering the US, going back, I mean, back out of the US, coming to El Salvador, and even less when I was here back home. So it's a burden and it might be a hassle to carry so much, but I think uh, once you start using them for different things, uh, they're really worth it all the way. So that concludes the end of my journey from Taipei to El Salvador. So I just leave it here with some footage of things that I've been doing here in El Salvador. And yeah, so enjoy. Thank you.